Hey everybody, it's teacher Amy here and I am back with a second tutorial on how I use VIP Kid Google Slides along with CamTwist in the classroom. Now, if this is the first time that you have seen a CamTwist video from me, I'm gonna stop you right here and have you go down to the description box below and watch two videos before you come back to this one. You can watch CamTwist 101 as well as my first tutorial on how I use CamTwist with Google Slides in the classroom. If you don't watch those two, what we're about to do here is not going to make any sense to you at all. If you are familiar with how to use CamTwist with Google Slides, I'm about to show you a super quick and easy way for you to capture the area one time in your picture in picture so that you can save it and you never have to do it again. So I'm going to start by going down to Google Chrome. I use Google Chrome specifically just for Google Slides for my teaching purposes. I use Safari for everything else that I do on the internet. So Google Chrome saves the size of your windows from the last time that you had them open. So I never mess with these. I never resize my windows. This is exactly how I want them to be when I'm teaching. So I just leave them alone and don't resize them. I've got a shortcut to the Google Drive right here. So I'm gonna open that up. And normally what I would do is I would go find the reward or the lesson slide that I wanted to use. And I would put them in tabs up here for the different classes that I'm gonna be doing. And then I would go over to CamTwist and start my picture in picture and select the area and all that business. But we're gonna do it a little different today so that we can save the setup. So you go to new and do a new Google slide. And I'm just gonna call this blank rewards. I'm going to get rid of any text that's in here right now. And I'm going to put it into presenter view because most of the rewards work best if they're in presenter view. Okay, so this is how it's going to look when when you're in the classroom. So I'm going to go over to desktop plus choose picture in picture. And I'm going to rename this rewards because I would do this a second time for the lessons as well. And then this is what you've already learned in the other videos. I'm gonna confine this to the specific Google Chrome window that has the blank reward in it right here. And I'm gonna select the capture area to be just this white space here. Remember, this is the only time that you'll have to do this for the rewards. If you also use the lesson slides, you'll have to do it again for the lessons, but that's it. And then you'll never have to do it again. Okay, PIP settings, clear the background. I like my rewards to be a little smaller and over here in this corner. You can put your rewards wherever you like. Okay, so now that that is set up, I'm just gonna move it out of the way for a second because I'm gonna do it again for the lessons and just exactly the same thing. New, oops, new Google slide, but this one I'm going to call blank lessons. Come on, blank lessons and get rid of the text, put it in presenter view, and do a second picture in picture. And this one I'm gonna call lessons. And confine it to that window that has the blank lesson slide in it and select the area. Now the reason that we're doing this is because the picture in picture needs something to be linked to so that it can open again because it is just broadcasting your um, browser window. So it needs to understand exactly what is linked to that browser window so that it can have something to reference so that it can open it again in the future. Okay, so here we are. I've got my blank rewards down here and I've got my blank lessons up here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save this setup and I am going to call it daily because this is a setup that I use every single day. So now it's in there. If I clear it out and I open it again, it will pop up rewards and lessons daily. Okay, now if I close these out and I completely close that, if I bring up the daily ones now and turn them on, nothing happens because again, there's no browser window for it to reference. But if I open Google Chrome and I go open that blank rewards slide that I just created, should be right here and then I put it into presenter view. Then when I turn this on, it's there. Super cool. So uh, what I would do from here is I would just go back to the drive and open whatever the rewards are that you want to do for the day. And I would just put them in the tabs and put them all into presenter view so they're ready to go for when I wanna teach. But as long as I have that blank slide there, 
Um, I can switch this to be whatever whatever I want it to be. I just have to make sure that I have the blank one come up first so that when I open that set, that daily set over here, it has something to reference. And this works with the, with the lessons too. So as long as you bring up the blank lessons first, it has something to reference. Now, don't go resizing these windows. <laughs> They have to stay exactly the same size or else you're going to end up with some black space over here and it's just not going to look the way that you want it to. So keep your windows exactly the same size. Um, and the other thing that you can do is if you are a Cam Twist user that likes to use other sets, if you have, you know, lesson sets down here, if you've got apples and animals and things that you want to put up on your screen, um, you can still do that saved with this set. So you would put up your um, daily set that you want to use up here and then you would select down here, don't double click, but just select it so that it's highlighted in blue and then hit merge. And then you'll be able to add those onto the bottom of your daily set that you have here. Um, and then if you wanted to keep it that way, if you're gonna teach this lesson again in two weeks or whatever, you wanna have it all set up, then you could save this setup and it would do both the daily and the unit here. Um, so there you go. So there's your setup, super easy. So what I would actually do is, I can actually do it right now because I deleted this from before so that I could recreate it. Um, I would just create a bookmark here. And um, it's gonna go right here on my screen so that when I open Google Chrome in the morning, all I have to do is click this and then I can go and um, choose my rewards for the day. So nice and easy. All right, so I hope that helps you guys out. Happy teaching.